everybody, so this video is finally going to be answering your questions about my experience in college because I've been in college for a really long time and I have filmed barely anything answering your questions and I receive a ton on the daily through all of my social media platforms. So I decided to go to Instagram and I posted an Instagram story telling you guys to DM me some questions that you have for me and I have a lot. I'm not going to get through all of them, but I will try my hardest. A lot of them are really like similar so i probably will get through like everyone who asks like a question because you know like there's probably like 10 questions but like multiple people ask the same thing so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this little college q a and let's just get started someone said how do you like fau i'm thinking about transferring there personally i love fau i didn't really have a lot of options going into college unlike some people who literally like have like got in everywhere they applied and they had like 10 options to choose from so I don't know I just kind of like went off I knew I wanted to be there I knew I wanted to be near a beach which was kind of narrowed down my options a lot because the beach is literally like 10 minutes away and it's amazing because like literally the past few days after class I've gone to the beach and I'm probably gonna go today like I love it it's literally February and I'm already getting a tan it's 80 degrees outside I've always lived in Florida so I'm really used to like the Florida heat and it's like nothing new to me so like I don't know if you're like out of state or something like that like FAU like might freak you out because you're like oh my god it's literally 80 degrees in February. I love this school. I love the size. I love that it's a medium sized school. Um, I think it's a good size. It's in a good area. You have Miami, you have Fort Lauderdale, you have everything near you and it's so peachy and it's just, oh, I love it. And there's so many like trendy places to go to and stuff. It's just, I don't know. I really enjoy it here and I don't think I see myself transferring anywhere. Um, when I first came here, I was like, oh, I might just do two years here, but I honestly see myself staying all four years unless it would be like for my major or something like that. But yeah, so I definitely recommend transferring here if you tour it and you personally love it. I got so many questions. I'm not even kidding. Like I read through these as they came in. I got so many questions about doing long distance in college. Um, as you guys, I don't know if you know. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I am in a relationship and um, my boyfriend goes to Florida State University. So we are about like six hours away, which is a lot. I know it's different. Okay, in my terms, out of state is a whole different story but for me and him like our hometown is kind of like an in-between place and then six hours to me since I already have to do four hours from my hometown it's not that bad unless you really hate driving like I understand but I honestly really enjoy it the distance kind of gets like a little not annoying but just like it sucks but I like long distance. I like being able to do whatever I want to do. Like I like I like being independent. Like I love knowing that I have him and I always have him to talk to and FaceTime and if I need help or anything like that. And I know that if I'm just like, if I really need to see him, like we can plan like really soon, like when to see each other again and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. I just really, I like it. At first, every time, like at first every time I would leave him, I would cry so hard. I'd be so sad. Like literally coming to college, I was so sad. I didn't think it was gonna work. Him going through Greek life, and then now me going through Greek life. I thought that was gonna affect it because you know just like frat boys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but honestly, and all that stuff. So I had a lot of concerns, but honestly, it worked out so well. And I honestly. It feels like I'm in a normal relationship. Like, I honestly forget that he literally lives six hours away from me. Because, I don't know, there's so many things. There's really Thanksgiving, there's Christmas, there's his birthday, there's my birthday, there's spring break. Like, there's literally so many, like, Valentine's Day, our anniversary. Like, we just hit one year, and half of our relationship was long distance. So, like, I don't know. There's just so many things to where we know we're going to see each other. It makes it really easy, and all honestly gives me something to look forward to, like, all in all. So... I don't, I wouldn't say I recommend it, but if you're like with someone and you want to like break up in college, just try it. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But like for me, it worked really well and I honestly really enjoy it. I like having like my independent time, but knowing he's always there and stuff like that. It's just good. And I feel like if we went to the same school, I tell like everyone this, I feel like if we went to the same school, I wouldn't try as much to make friends, you know, because I would always just do everything with him. Like, I would go live with him, I would go eat with him, I would go to the beach with him, I would do every, like, I would just be like, oh, I can do all that with him. But since he's not here, like, it kind of, not forced me to make friends, but like, I had to make friends, which I really like. So, I don't know, I really enjoy it, honestly. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's not horrible. 
said, what are you majoring in and what's the social life like? Um, I'm majoring in communications. I hope to work for the social media aspect of a big brand someday. I, that totally might change. But as of right now, that's really what I want to do. And honestly, I give it to YouTube for making me want that to be my major and what I want to do with my life because it's just like opened so many doors and that's just what I'm passionate in right now. But, um, what's the social life like? Honestly, I would say it's like, it's a medium sized school. There's a medium amount of social life, you know, like it's not crazy, but it's not like there's nothing. So I don't know. I would say like there's stuff to do, like definitely Tuesdays, Thursdays, there's always stuff to do. Saturdays, I don't know, just like aren't a thing unless you have a fake. Well, no, unless you have a good fake, like there really aren't any, there really isn't anything to do on Saturdays, which is kind of weird because you would think like Friday, Saturday is like the normal thing, but Tuesdays and Thursdays are like the big thing here, which I feel like it's kind of like that at like some schools, but um, there's stuff Fridays. It's mostly like you need to be 21 for to have fun. So like if you're planning on coming to the school, get a fake, I'm just kidding. That sounds so bad. I'm, I'm kidding, don't get a fake. But if you wanna have fun, I recommend it because I don't know, there's not really a lot of 18 nut places. Um, but I mean, even if you don't wanna drink and you wanna go out, like you need a fake, you know? Like even if you just wanna have fun, you, you have to be 21. So yeah, it's kind of like a necessity. I tell a lot of people that whenever they wanna come here. But um, yeah, honestly, I have fun. I'm, I am like a, I love going out, but at the same time, I don't mind not going out. Like, it's it's not like I need it in my life, and I feel like I would definitely fail college if I literally went out every single night. But, I mean, there's always stuff to do, especially during, like, the fall season. There was a ton of frat parties and stuff like that. There, there's stuff to do, just, like, not every single day like some other schools, I guess. Yeah, I got so many questions about having long distance. It's insane. Okay, someone said I'm currently a senior but IDK what to major in. Any advice? I'm debating between elementary education or journalism. Honestly, I would go into college as undecided unless you want to start off with one of those and then switch to the other if it doesn't work out. But I know so many people who just went in as undecided and it kind of, you kind of like figure it out as you go. Like personally, I tell everyone that I'm a communications major and I want to work in a social media for like a big brand. But, and then I'm always like, but that might change. Like, you know, you never know. Like my sister, I think changed her major like three or four times. Like people change their major so much. So just definitely be BFS with your advisor and just see how it goes. Honestly, I don't know. How do you balance college, how do you balance college classes going out and your boyfriend? Um, well, my classes, I, I don't know. I made my, <sighs> I made my schedule heavily packed on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I have class from like 9.30 and then like a couple of breaks and then until 6.50 on Tuesday, Thursdays, and then I have nothing on Monday and then a 8 a.m. on Friday. So I have four day weekends for mainly the reason of going home and seeing my boyfriend. I mainly made it that for that reason. I mean, obviously it's nice, like I would do it regardless, but like that was like my main like thought process when doing it. I was like, well, I went home a lot in the fall, not a lot, but I like, I went places a lot in the fall and it was really nice. I didn't really have that kind of a schedule. Like I had a Friday and a Monday, but like I could skip it. It was like an easy class. But um, yeah, so I definitely kept that in mind. So definitely having like four day weekends really helps with going out and seeing my boyfriend or like going home, you know? Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like I just always make sure like on like a Sunday or Sunday last um, semester, but like on Monday nights this semester, I always go to the library for like the longest time and I just get all my work done because a lot of things are due like Sunday. Get ready for my week and like plan it all out and then like going out just kind of comes and goes. Like obviously if I know I have a paper to write or something like that, I'm not gonna go out. Like I'm not dumb to where like I choose going out over like being successful in college because I'm not the smartest person in the world and I actually have to study and I actually have to do these things. Like I don't just get automatic A's and stuff like that. So I definitely prioritize what's important and I think that works a lot. Um, and then once again with my boyfriend, just, I don't know, like he doesn't go here. So we just like plan when we're gonna go home or I'm gonna go see him and stuff like that. And it usually works out. It never really, confl it never really conflicts with like um, my classes or anything like that. Like I skip some classes sometimes, but like I'll get the code for it and you know, but yeah. What's the best and worst part about living in a dorm? The best part, the convenience of everything, like having like, um, a dining hall and I don't know like roommates to talk to and you're not always lonely and stuff like that Which I guess is nice. But I guess the best thing is like that. It's so convenient, you know, because like when you live off campus you have to like 
um, come find parking in the morning, which can take like 30 minutes and like you're wasting gas and you're like, you don't have a meal plan. So you have to like buy everything, you know, it's just convenient to live, um, in a dorm. The worst thing is obviously like not liking your roommates, not liking your sweet mates, not having clean, you know, like all the issues that come with roommates, like not being clean, not being nice, having a totally different schedule than you, like all these things kind of like come into it, which I don't know anyone who like absolutely loves their roommate. It's like literally not a thing. If you get a random, you most likely will not like your roommate. Like I really can't tell you any of my friends that like their roommate or anything like that. But I mean, it's just something you have to deal with and go through. Everyone goes through it freshman year. So it's just a thing. Someone said, are, are large lecture halls classes as scary as they seem? No, they're actually a blessing because most of the time they're either like eye clicker based or like, um, we use top hat there might be other ones i don't know but like where it's like you get an attendance code or something like that so it's so easy to skip the class or just um not pay attention in the class like because there's so many people like you're not going to be like involved in the conversation or anything like that like honestly i'm so bad like in some of my classes that like i know that everything's just like online based but then there's lectures like i literally just sit on my phone and like partially pay attention it's really nice you're not like the only thing that kind of scares me not scares me but in the beginning was like when if you're ever late to class and you have to like find a seat but like the professor's talking and no one else is talking kind of stressful because like you usually have to like go like to the middle of the aisle because that's the only seat available or something like that but other than that i love it i love big lectures i love that i can just sit there and not do anything someone said i've been here for a month and i'm still having a hard time making friends because i feel like everyone has already found their friend group already um and she said she started in the spring, which I've actually heard from a lot of people that if you join in the spring, it is definitely harder to make friends, which I joined in the fall, which I don't really have a lot of experience on for spring, but I definitely heard that. And I would say definitely if your school does Greek life in the spring, I would definitely recommend just trying that out. At least going through recruitment, you could make friends through that. And if like Greek life's not for you, you had that experience where you made some friends, you know? Um, I would say join clubs, but I myself am not in clubs. But if you're like that, then I would say try and join clubs. Like, um, reach out to them. Like, if they have an Instagram page and you don't really know how to, like, get involved in the club, like, I don't know, like, DM their Instagram and be like, hey, how do I get involved in this club? Like, I came for spring. I kind of missed all, like, the starting things, you know, like, that that kind of stuff. Um, I would, honestly, I don't really know anyone who makes friends in their classes. Like, what I said, I literally said on my phone. So, unless I already have previous friends in the class, I don't usually make friends. But, um, I don't know. Honestly, I would say Greek life clubs. Like, that's the main thing. And then, if you're really spontaneous, like, ask to sit with someone at the dining hall or at your, like, food court, restaurants on campus, stuff like that. Um, I guess would be the next best thing. But honestly, I would say if you're a girl or a guy, definitely try going through Greek life because that's how a lot of people make the majority of their friends. So, this is the last question I'm going to answer because a lot of them are very similar. Um, but someone says, what do you basically eat on, like, in a daily week? And, or what do you eat in a, like, yeah, whatever. So, um, last semester, okay, I've never been a fan of the dining hall because one, I'm dairy free and two, I'm health conscious. And I've tried to maintain the same weight throughout college. It hasn't worked that well. I've probably gained, like, five pounds which sucks, but I mean, it's just, honestly, I think it's just because I don't work out as much. I cycled a lot last semester, but I honestly just don't have time with, like, the class times, with, like, my academic class times. It just kind of, like, intervenes, but, um, so I mainly, like, grocery shop, and I get a lot of fruits and vegetables and, like, veggie burgers and, like, healthy, like, little sandwich thins, and I get, like, my, like, almond milk creamer. Like, I go to, like, Starbucks and Dunkin' because, like, I have, like, cash that's through like my card here that's like free but i have coffee here like i i i don't know like i have like like right now i'm looking at like oranges and bananas like down there and stuff like that like i keep healthy food in my dorm i don't really have like snacks and stuff like that um so like on a normal day okay so what i do is on like let's say my tuesdays and thursdays like i'll go to class and then in between i have an hour in between my classes and i'll go to duncan and i'll get a coffee this is really bad but honestly a lot of people do this i basically drink coffee for breakfast so um then after my classes i get out like two and then i'll either go to this place that kind of sounds like a knockoff chipotle um it's literally the same thing it's just like not as good um or i'll come back to my dorm and i'll eat 
I don't know. I've, I've been really into celery and ranch lately. It's so good. But, um, oh, sometimes, well, I haven't really been doing this recently, but I'll put, like, two little, um, cutie oranges in my backpack, and I'll eat those when I eat my, drink my coffee. But, um, yeah, so I'll eat that for lunch. And then for dinner, honestly, this semester has been so, like, I do not eat at the dining hall because it's just, it always makes my stomach hurt. Or it's just... I don't know if there's dairy in it, so I just don't eat it. Honestly, that's probably why it makes my stomach hurt because there's dairy in it. But um, yeah, for dinner, I don't know. Like I've been really enjoying going to Chipotle, um, Panera. I get like the Greek goddess out. It's really good. It's really bad. I kind of chilled on that. But I don't know. I'll just eat little things. And then if I'm still hungry, like I don't know. Well, I always eat dinner either in my dorm or somewhere else because like my dining hall and all that closes at like 7.30. So honestly, now that I think of it, I don't know what I eat for dinner. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I try to definitely eat healthy. Um, it's kind of hard not to eat healthy when you're not eating dairy, even though I, there's some like cheats to that, but I don't know. Like for the most part, I eat pretty healthy. I drink a lot of water. That was basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram and stuff. If you want to follow me along. <laughs> in my life i guess i don't know and yeah so uh leave suggestions down below on what you guys want to see next i want to do like a daily like what i eat in a day actual video um but i just need to remember to do that because i'm really bad at remembering that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next one bye